Hello, this is website islands.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a product to your VirtuMart shopping cart. From the main control panel, go into components, click on VirtuMart, click on products here or here. Um, you can click on a product and clone the product if there's uh, attributes like size and color that you don't want to have to recreate. Uh, if there are no um, attributes, it's just as easy practically to just uh, create a new a new product by clicking on new here. So um, in this case we'll just click on new. Well, we'll, well, let's just create a copy and I'll show you why. So I'm going to clone this um, this product here you'd want to um, when that open up you can give it a new SKU if you have one it could be a completely different uh, give it a different name or title um, erase the old alias if you copied it if you were creating a new uh, product you just enter this information for the first time um, but you know it's already a handgun revolver if you needed to pick an, a different category you could click on a new category and delete an old category if that was appropriate you can leave the um, some of these fields alone if they're not relevant to you if you don't know what they are then you probably wouldn't need to use it you can adjust the price here or enter a new pl price if this is uh, a new product Okay, you can, I recommend saving your work as you go along. Um, you could, you don't have to, but it'll save you time if you. Um, so I had created these these two tables because I want um, certain gun descriptions. This is a gun website, so certain specifications in this side and others in here. To create a table, you can just if 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 you have um, the free. Uh, JCK editor installed you can create a table of pick how many columns you want and then um, choose the width there or you can adjust the width like this as well um, so then you just change this uh, information if you need to change the description or add a new description this would all be blank if it was a new product um, there are some uh, meta details here so you can give it a, a unique title there might be a reason why you just want to use a short title here, um, but you might want to use a much longer title, and you can create a custom page title for SEO purposes here in an SEO description, and your meta your meta keywords for your product can go in there if you want to do that. Um, if you need to enter in the uh, if you know if you're doing quantity based. Uh, if, if you're keeping stock online, for a lot of people that have both brick and mortar locations and online, this can be a nuisance. So um, I don't really advise it unless you are only selling through online. Then it might be save you time to keep track of your stock right here. Just enter it in whenever you get a new stock. Um, if you're doing uh, live shipping rates from UPS or USPS, you'd need to enter in the length, the width, the height, and the weight here in pounds. Uh, and inches for United States and uh, for your product images here if this were a, this would be blank if it were a new product if you have an old product image in there you can just delete that and you can um, just for safety sakes remove this too and then you can just upload a new one from your home computer um, each time you upload and if you have multiple images you'll just click save um, as you uh, for every image there's no way to multiple upload in uh, virtual mart 2.0 that I know of um, so just click save and then upload a new one and click save and you can you can have as many photos here as you want though the um, custom fields is if you have um, colors or styles and um, I talk about that in a lot more detail in the in the virtual mart 
configuration tutorial that I have, so I'm not going to get into um, the custom fields, but uh, they take a little bit of a time to set up. So if you do have custom fields associated with a certain product category, I would recommend doing what I did, which is just to duplicate a product where you've already set all that information up rather than create a new product and, and, and have to recreate those steps each time because a lot of a lot of times products will have the same colors or sizing options anyway and then it's just as easy just to change the um, the, the the other description and title and everything rather than recreate all that um, I will get into product categories here because as your um, you're uh, creating your products you might need to add a new category so here you can see I've already created a category called handguns and it has two subcategories pistols and re revolvers so if I wanted to create a, a new category it's very simple um, I'm gonna create a new category called water guns water guns okay and if I were to just click save now that would just be a primary category but I want water guns to be a subcategory of handguns so I'll, I'll I'll scroll down here under category ordering and 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 um, by clicking handguns it's going to actually be under handguns and that's really all you need to do there um, you can add meta information here to your category as well if you want to do that you can add images uh, to your category if you want if you have like one main banner image or something and I don't I don't usually use those um, but you could do that as well if you wanted to and then just click save and now you have your new category water guns once you go back into your products you'd be able to um, you'd be able to uh, add under the you know the categories here you'd find water guns would be listed under under uh, let's see where class there's a lot okay water guns so you just add that and in the front end of your site, it's going to that product would show up under all three categories. So let's go to the front end now. You'll see I've created menu buttons for each of the categories and sub menu buttons for the subcategories. Um, under handguns, you won't see water guns there because I have not yet created that menu button. As well here, I haven't created that. This is a side menu, and I have not created a, a menu button for it there either. So um, to do that, you'd have to go into uh, just save your work. You can open it up in a new window, or you can just um, click here. You can go to uh, we were in the main menu, and we wanted to add that water guns we would just create a uh, new menu and um, select go down to virtual mark category layout not to be confused with virtual mark categories plural which would list all of them this would just uh, list one category for you and then when that pops up over here you're gonna select your uh, water guns category for example and give it a title water guns and um, that's all you really need to do for it to show up just click save um, well actually there's one vital step I forgot I don't want it showing up in the main uh, menu is one of the main buttons it's really a sub button um, of uh, it's a sub button so don't forget click um, handguns so it'll show up under the handguns um, category. So when I refresh the front page here, um, I can go into handguns and I can see the water guns there. And I think uh, just that one product will show up because it's the only one I assigned to the water guns uh, category. So anyway, uh, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And by now, you should know how to upload an image and uh, product description and new products or create a new menu button for your uh, shopping cart. Thanks for watching.